Do you want to turn your Figma design into a real website in just minutes and without writing a single line of code? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to use Cursor AI to instantly convert your Figma designs into clean, functional code. So whether you're a designer or a developer, this tool can save you hours of time and effort. From the setup to the live preview, I'll guide you through the entire process step by step. We will be using GitHub and Netlify to host and publish the project. Also, this setup makes it super easy to update your site anytime. And by the end, you'll see just how easy it is to bring your static design to life. I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. To convert a Figma design into code, we are going to do four parts. The first part is to install the required software. Now, these tools will help us communicate with Figma, process the design data, and generate the code automatically. So to install the required software, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to install Node.js. Now, Node.js lets us run JavaScript on our computer, which is required for converting Figma designs into code. To install Node.js, just click the link in the description, and it'll take you to this page. Now, click here to download. Select based on whether you're a Windows or a Mac user and it will be downloaded to your computer. Click here to open the downloaded file. To install this on your computer, just click on it. Now click Next. Accept the agreement. Again click Next. And keep clicking Next till you reach this page. Then click Install. Finally click Finish. So now we have installed Node.js successfully. Next, let's move on to the second step, which is to install Cursor AI. Cursor AI is an AI coding editor that helps turn Figma designs into real code. It reads your design, understands each element, and instantly generates clean and ready-to-use code. So to install it, just click the link in the description, and it'll take you to this page. Click here to install the software, and it'll be downloaded to your computer. Once you download the file, to install this on your computer, click here, Click here, then click Next, click Install, and as you can see, Cursor AI has been installed. Finally, click Finish, now click Sign Up, sign up with your Google account, here click Login, just click Continue. And if you want, you can keep your prompts and code private by selecting private mode here and click continue again. And that's it. We have installed Cursor AI successfully. Now we have successfully installed the tools that need to convert our Figma designs into code. Next, let's go to the second part of this video, which is to connect Cursor AI with Figma MCP. Figma MCP is a tool that connects Figma to Cursor AI. This allows Cursor AI to read your Figma designs and turns them into code. Figma MCP provides an interface that allows Cursor AI to access Figma design data. Cursor AI then uses this data to generate code based on your designs. To connect Cursor AI with Figma MCP, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to choose a folder to save your project files. And to do that, click Open Project. Here you can either select an existing folder or create a new one. So I'm going to create a new folder. Once you've chosen a folder, we can move on to the second step, which is to add the Figma MCP code to Cursor AI. This allows Cursor AI to access your Figma design and convert it into a working code. So to do that, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to the GitHub page. Scroll down and here you'll find the Figma MCP code. To add this code to Cursor AI, copy the code. Go back to Cursor AI. Now click here. Go to MCP. Click Add New Global MCP Server. Now paste the code which you've copied. And once you've added the code, next, we need to replace this Figma API key. The Figma API key is a unique authentication token that allows external tools like Cursor AI to connect to your Figma account securely. So to get the API key, go to your Figma dashboard, click on your profile, go to Settings, click Security, then click here to generate the new access token. Here, give a name to your token. And if you want, you can also set the token expiration and give access to the files. Now click generate token. 
and you will get the API key. Once you got the API key, copy it. Go back to Cursor AI. Enter your Figma API key here. And save the file by pressing Ctrl plus S. And if it's a Mac, press Command plus S. Okay, now we have added the Figma MCP code to Cursor AI. Once you've added the code, you can see that the MCP server is added. So now we have successfully connected Cursor AI with the Figma MCP server. We can now move on to the next part, which is to convert the Figma design into code. To convert the Figma design into code, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to add the prompt to Cursor AI. To convert the design into code, you need to simply tell Cursor AI what you need and it will generate the code for you. To do that, first make sure the agent is selected. Next, select the model. We are going to select Cloth 3.7 Sonnet. Once you select the agent and the model, we can move on to the next step, which is to add the Figma design to the prompt. To help Cursor AI get your Figma design, you need to add your Figma design link in the chat. And to get the Figma design link, open your Figma design, right click on it, go to copy and select copy link to selection. Now paste the link in the chat and we have successfully added the Figma link. Now we can move on to the next step, which is to generate the code. Let's ask it to recreate a Figma design, including the layout, colors and the images. Once you've added the prompt to Cursor AI, just hit send and Cursor AI will start to read your design and generate the code for you. When Cursor AI tries to get the data from the design, it will ask you for your permission. Click Run tool and once you give it access, it starts to create the code accordingly. Just keep on clicking accept each time it pops up until everything is done. Now that it's done, click on index.html. As you can see, the code files are ready. So we have successfully generated the code. Now let's run the file and check out the output. To do that, go to the folder we created. There you can see all the files that have been created. Now click on the HTML file. You can see that Cursor AI has replicated our Figma design. However, a few elements like images and layouts still need some adjustments. So let's try to fix that by giving a prompt in the chat. Go back to Cursor AI. Enter the prompt and click send. Let's run this again. And as you can see, this one looks better than the previous one. So now we have successfully converted a Figma design into code using Cursor AI. So now you know how to convert your design into a website. But what if you want to share it online? So next, let's see how you can publish a landing page and make it live online. To make your website go live, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to connect Cursor AI to GitHub MCP. GitHub is like an online storage space for your project files. It helps you manage your code and keeps track of any changes in the future. So to connect it, just click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Now Smithery is an AI platform that helps you connect your GitHub account with Cursor AI. So to start the GitHub server, click continue with GitHub, click authorize Smithery AI. And now we have logged into GitHub by authorizing Smithery. Once that is done, click Cursor. And here we need to enter the GitHub access token. To get the access token, go to GitHub, go to your profile, click settings, scroll down a bit and click developer settings. Now go to personal access token, click this. Now click on generate new token. Give a name for your token, scroll down a bit and here if you want, you can set the token expiration and choose a repository access. Give the necessary permissions based on your needs. I'm going to give it access to everything. And once it is done, click generate token. Again, click generate token. And we got our access token here. Now copy the token. Come back to Smithery. Paste it. Click connect. Now go to JSON, 
Select the JSON format on your system OS. Copy this code and make sure you only copy this portion. Then go back to Cursor AI. Place your cursor here. Add a comma. Then paste the JSON code you copied. And save this by pressing Ctrl S. Click on Settings. And as you can see, the server has started and Cursor AI is connected with the GitHub MCP server. Now we have started and connected the server successfully. Next, let's move on to the second step, which is to upload your code to GitHub. To upload the code, we have two options. We can do it manually or simply chat with Cursor AI. So I'm going to use the AI chat option to upload the code effortlessly. To do that, go to GitHub. And as you can see, we have no repository here. A repository is the place where your code will be stored. Since we are going to upload the code using AI, it will handle the repository creation for you. To upload the code, go to Cursor AI. Just give a prompt like this. Click Send. Now keep on clicking Run. Now it will ask for the GitHub access. Click Authorize Git Ecosystem. Once you've given the access, click Run. And let's check the output once. Go to GitHub and refresh the page. As you can see, we have the project here. If you click on that, we can see the project that we uploaded. Now we have successfully uploaded the code to GitHub. Finally, let's move on to the third step, which is to connect GitHub with Netlify. Netlify is a free tool that makes your website live instantly. And the best part is, when connected to GitHub, your site updates automatically whenever you make changes and you don't need to upload files manually. So to sign in, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Now click here and sign in with your GitHub account. Click Authorize Netlify. So to deploy the site, just enter your basic details here. Click continue to deploy. Now click GitHub. Click authorize Netlify. Then click install. Click here to deploy. And click deploy landing page to Netlify. And we have deployed our site. So to check once, click production deploy. And as you can see, we have successfully deployed a site. Now, if you want to modify anything in this code in the future, you can do so and simply tell it in the chat to update it and it will handle it for you. So let's see how it works. Once you made the changes in the design, copy the design link. Go to cursor. Paste the link in the chat and add a prompt like this. Click Send. Click Run Tool. Now click Accept until it's done. Now go to GitHub. Refresh once. And as you can see, the changes have been made here. And the same changes are automatically updated in Netlify as well. Now go to your site, click refresh. As you can see, the change is updated. And that's it. We have successfully taken a Figma design, converted it into a clean, functional code using Cursor AI, and even uploaded it to GitHub. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. So if you like this video, do give a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.